Hey y'all, thank y'all for joining me yet again for another recap and review of Love and Marriage DC, Season 3, Episode 9, Books, Beards, and Breakthroughs. Let's get it y'all. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey. Thank y'all for joining me. Thank y'all for joining me. I am your host, California Cutie. You are on California Cutie's channel. Thank you guys for rocking with me one more again, okay? We are here to discuss re the recap and review of um, Love and Marriage, DC, season three, episode. Actually, it's the continuation of episode eight, but really we're here for episode nine, okay? <clears throat> Hopefully you joined me on my last one. You know, I left you on a, like a cliffhanger, like I'm part of the, you know, Bravo and, and part of the own, you know, network and stuff. I, that's why I thought I was. So yeah, y'all, for all my new cuties, my, for all my new cuties, thank you for giving me a view. Give, thank you for uh, giving me a chance. Uh, I hope you like my content. If you do, please hit that subscribe button, uh, become a cutie pie. Um, hit the like button since you're here, since you're gonna be watching it, you know, might as well just go and hit the like button right now. Do that for me. And to all my cutie pies, you know, that always rock with me. Thank you for your continued support. I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button for me as well. And don't forget to share my content, okay? Yeah, y'all, I think I took care of the business. Oh. Please, 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 please uh, subscribe to my other channel with my girls, uh, Sunday Brunch with Black Tea. We are another panel. Um, it's three of us. And, you know, go check us out. Sunday Brunch with Black Tea. OK, uh, I'll put it in the description boxes. I do not have it there. <laughs> Hello. Hello. All right, y'all. So let's get to the lecture at hand. Let me put my little notes up. So, like I said, I had left you guys on a cliffhanger um, with Ashley and Joy uh, talking at the uh, coffee shop. And the last thing that I had told you guys is that um, Ashley said, you know, now she's having a hard time. Her, her, the, the hard time. Okay, let's start over. Hey, y'all. <laughs> anyway. She is having a hard time getting past Joy saying that she can't trust her. So Joy tells her, well, trust can be, you know, can be broken, but it can be mended and earned. And uh, we finally get Ashley to say or hear her. I didn't get her to say. Uh, Ashley finally tells Joy, you know, she says she wish she could rewind it back. She wants to apologize yet again, but she didn't use yet again with her mean girl attitude. So she says, you know, I, I wish. She says, excuse me, she says, I want to apologize to, to you directly, Joy. Um, I did not mean to break your trust. Um, she was just, you know, she was pissed off. Joy receives that and she accepts her apology. Joy says she will apologize for any Thing that made her feel any kind of way and that she would rather move forward, you know, being blatantly honest and communicating how they really feel. So you can't tell Joy, I mean, Ashley, something like that because, you know, she's going to take that and run with it, bookie boo. Okay. I'm just saying. It's just, it is what it is. Uh, Joy tells Ashley, she genuinely, she genuinely F's with her. And in this moment, I was kind of like, that's great. I'm not saying, Joy, you know, tell her you mess with her. That's cool and everything. But Ashley has this thing about her that just kind of rubs me the wrong way where she's like, uh, where Joy was like, you know, I, you know, I F with you, you know, I miss you. I, you know, and, and Ashley's demeanor will be like, oh, I know. 
No, oh, I miss you too, you know, or you know, I miss I miss, I miss our time together. No, I know. I'm like, you weird. Your energy is weird. I, I couldn't kick it with you all the time. Mm -mm. So anyway, Joy tells Ashley she genuinely F Fs with her. And Ashley, oh, almost bit my tongue, y'all. F with her. And Ashley tells Joy she honestly does like ev she does like her. Everybody uh around her knows it. I said, okay, maybe she, maybe she, okay. I was jumping around. I forgot I wrote that. She did say that everybody genuinely knows that. And I told you that goes back to her projecting. She'd be projecting. Anyway, she says, um, honestly, um, everybody knows that, you know, around her that she does. Honestly, you know, honestly does like her. But with Clifton, that's her husband. And she does, doesn't know how they're going to um, be able to move forward. Because if this is what Ashley says, this is this is projecting at its finest, y'all. She says, because if if many man quick, my husband doesn't like your husband. And Joy raises her eyebrows like, say like, what now? Ashley says, you know, if you know, Rob well, says, uh, Ashley says, my husband has a problem with Clifton because I have a problem with Clifton. I said, okay, thank you for not projecting because thank you. She says, um, my husband has a problem with Clifton because I have a problem with Clifton. So Joy goes to explain yet again what she perceived at the game and how Jamie perceived it and saw it and how Arena perceived it and saw it, how us, the viewers, perceived it and saw it. You know what I mean? Um, and excuse me, how her, her husband experienced it. Now, you know, I, I hear mixed people, mixed people, CC content creators, not California cuties, but CC uh, creators, California, I mean, content creators say, you know, that they agree that uh, Clifton is a mean, sassy girl. No, I mean, that he's kind of sassy. And I don't agree with that. I, I feel like um, he's given off the energy she been gave. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, if that equates to sassy, okay, well, then that's what it is. Mm. Let's see what, okay. Is my cursor. What, like I said, what the um, viewers saw. And even, um, so Joyce said, yeah, it was so much anger. It was so much anger, you know, coming from you. And and then, you know, they show Ashley. Now, I don't know if this be an intentional, but they show Ashley, you know, frowning up like, you know, like, oh my God, here we go again. And it's like, no, yeah, here we can go again. Yeah. We gonna hold your feet to the fire because you putting the 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 the, the, t the ten on the two. You doing too much. You put ten on that. Okay. Um, Joyce says she don't know what's coming. You know where it's coming from. What it's coming from. And I told you guys earlier in the, in the my last one that I feel like there's a lot of not. I ain't gonna use sexual tension. I'm just gonna say Clifton is. Um, double the size of many men quick. So her husband, Ashley's husband is half the, the man that the Clifton is, even though she keeps projecting that he's so sassy. So sassy. Yeah, okay. I think he's not giving you your energy that you wanted. He ain't giving you the, hey girl, you know, the love. I see you girl, you looking good. No, he ain't giving you that. And I think that's a problem. And that's why you keep projecting that mess, the throuple onto Carmen. So anyway, Ashley responds and says, many people have told her she's a bully. And she says, you know, um, she don't believe it. I'm like, well, if many people have said it, girl, like it's probably true. And then, you know, and I, I'm going to give her not a, not a pass, but it. I understand she had a hard teenage life. Let's, let's go with that. So I made her a little tough and a little rough around the edges, but whatever. Um, she says, many people tell her she's a mean, mean girl. She didn't disagree with that one. You know, she, she didn't agree, disagree. She was like, you know, um, you know, many people have called me a mean girl. So she continues to say, you know, I can spot a mean girl. Yeah, I can. I know you can. You look at one every day in the mirror. And if not, when you're doing a selfie, you look at one every day, all day, every day. Um, she was like, I, I, I can I, I can spot a mean girl uh, when I see one. And Clifton. 
is a mean girl. See right there, that's disrespectful. Call my husband a mean girl. With a smile on your face, passive aggressive. Even if you had a problem with my husband, don't call him a mean girl in front of me. Don't call him a mean girl behind my back. Don't call him a mean girl at all because he's not a girl. Let's go there. Now, uh, she's a mean girl when she said, when Clinton is a mean girl, Joy, I, Joy's eyebrows raised and her lips. Tighten up, and I know I, I knew what that meant. I meant she was sitting there biting her tongue, had to close her mouth. You see what I'm saying? Because I know what that meant. I know what it meant. So Ashley says, you know, it's the aura of Clifton. You know, the aura he gives off. You know, he's a freaking mean girl. And I was like, so that was their cliffhanger. Moving on, like JJ says, okay. Are y'all liking the video yet? Are y'all liking the video? I'm trying to get to my notes. Okay, okay. So let's 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 do this real quick, just so you know we can break up the monotony in all things. Let's do this. Make sure you're doing this, y'all. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry, it was early. It's usually like doing it at 30, 30 minutes. It's, so I'm like free uh uh freeway. Who is it? Freeway early, you know, like that. Look him up if y'all or you know, if y'all young. Anyway, moving on to episode nine, you guys, season three. We are moving on to books, beards. And breakthroughs. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, let me get my notes up, y'all. So we are on number nine. Let me bring it back. Bring, 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 bring it back. Hey, bring, bring it back. Bring it, hey, bring, bring it back. Bring it, hey. Okay. Excuse me. Get a little water. Hope you guys are really enjoying yourselves. I hope you guys um, understand I'm behind, but I just want to, you know, push out my content, do what I need to do, y'all. So y'all helping a sister out by watching. I really, 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 really appreciate you guys. Thank you to all my cutie pies. Drop me a comment. Let me know that you was here, that you, that you, you know, you, you entered the channel, you know, that you was like, hey, drop me a cutie. If you don't know what that is, that's that thing. That orange right there, you know, the little tangerines, the cuties, even though now I'm starting to call y'all my cutie pies because that's what we all are. We are our cute. We keep it cute. We are cutie pies. Mm. All right. Now, Ashley. How I went Ashley that Clifton. <laughs> oh, no. Let's see. That definitely gives me. Oh, because we are. <laughs> We are continuing on from, like I said, um, Mean Girl Ashley was calling Clifton a Mean Girl. She was like, "Yeah, that that Clifton definitely gives Mean Girl energy." Ashley said that the, that the energy that Clifton gives her, she's never felt from a man before. She only felt that energy from a woman. Now, she's going to get that same energy back. She thinks that Clifton feels like he is intimidated because intimidating because of his size. But as she says, she the <laughs> beat up. I didn't beat up. It's bigger than, than, than Clifton. Don't get it twisted. And she probably had because she's had this brick on her shoulder the whole time that she's been a teenager. So she probably has been carrying that. That's unfortunate. Glad I didn't meet you. 
Not that I was going to do anything. Anyway, the whole time, Joy is biting, you know, is, oh, I guess because I was talking, they said bitter time, but it's biting her tongue and you can see her thinking about saying something, but also knowing if she says something, he could go, I mean, he, <laughs> She could go left, meaning Ashley, because Ashley seems to, you know, I told y'all she played victim, even though she's the villain every time. That's why I call her Mrs. Potato Head. You don't know which Ashley you're going to get, when she's going to be the victim or when she's going to be the villain. And if she's sipping, then she is going to play the victim. I mean, the villain. Okay. Let's be, let's be clear. Let's be, let's be honest. Let's call it thing a thing. Call a spade a spade, okay? Uh, so I said, and you can see Joy thinking about saying something, but also knowing if she says something, uh, things could go left in the coffee shop. Ashley says she feels if, if a man is going to be sassy with her, he wants to fight. Joy is trying to figure out how do you go from being sassy and to throwing bows. Uh, Joy was like, y'all didn't even get chest to chest, you know, like, like I told y'all, she carrying this brick on her shoulder and now she, you know, basically saying Clifton was basically in her face, like, you know what, let me turn my phone before it rings on, do not disturb. Okay. And turn the ring off. Because, <sighs> child, my phone will ring in the middle of me recording and I'll be like, really, y'all, for real? So anyway, like the like the video. And so uh she said, you know, how does that go from y'all throwing bows? Y'all, you know, y'all wasn't in each other's faces, y'all wasn't chest to chest. As she said, she felt. See, this is a thing when women say, men say, anybody say they felt and they don't use facts, which it can be a fact in your own mind, but okay, let's just go. As she said, she felt like he leaned over. Joy says he never even broke the plane of being close to you. Ashley, like, so Ashley gets defensive and says, so it don't matter. So, so, so it don't matter. Oh, okay. So we changing like, what, what can to say? We moving the goalposts. Okay. You know, I like football. Move the goalposts. Do you think? So it don't, it don't matter if he was over her. She was like, he was shaking around near her. That said, what's up, bitch? Like I told y'all, she keep putting a 10 on the two. <laughs> um, Joyce says, first, she's going to respect how you feel. She said, you know, I respect how you feel. I do. Because that's why you put that there. That's why we always say, I felt like. So somebody can be like, you know, you can't, you can't really argue somebody's feelings. You just really can't. Joyce says, you know, first, she's going to, you know, going to respect how she how you feel it, your feelings, but me seeing my husband and the experience, he was not being aggressive. Ashley interrupts and says, he was being sassy. Joyce said, okay, I hear you. I hear you. But like I said, the written, the, it's written all over Joyce's face that I don't hear nothing you saying, girl. Um, to me, it gets a little un uncomfortable. Ashley sit, goes on to say, you can't hear me. You, you know why? Because <laughs> I've got a lot of things I haven't said. Cat got your tongue? What do you? What else do you got to say, little girl? Like I told y'all, she, she mad because he's not giving her the energy. She's not getting the energy she wants from him. She wants him to like kind of give her the googly eyes. You know, she needs that. She because her and quick something up with that. Something is something is wrong. Name paradise over there. Um. So Joy was like, okay. Joy says she doesn't know how to make Ashley comfortable. Ashley says Clifton doesn't matter to her. But she's hoping that they, Clifton and Joy, have a great life together and all that. But she don't feel anything. You don't feel anything. 
And in a moment, I feel like Ashley knows she she don't really have a valid reason to be mad, as mad as she is. It's like, you know how you are just, you, you mad, right? And then you start thinking back. And like I said, she was drinking. So in her head, is she's making it bigger than it is. It's like, and it's... It's not it, it booky. It's not that big, and when I hope, like we are, you, you re realize that we are a year behind, y'all. So, and you know, I don't know if they do like married to medicine and and tweet and, and and do all that while this is on. I, you know, I'm older, y'all. I don't have the time or the patience, so I don't know. I just let you know chips fall where they may on the show, and then you know if anybody my my bloggers and my content creators pick it up then I'll, I'll know so but i might go check it out because i really want to know how you know what's going on how they feel about it now watching it back because like i said ashley is making this bigger than it is it's just it's just it's weird y'all you know so like what i put in my notes uh, like I said, she don't really have a valid reason to be as mad as she is. She just being stubborn. That's what I put y'all. That's what I put. Um, Ashley says she doesn't know if it started at the beginning. Um, and Joy says, you know what? And they even do the producers. Thank you for bringing it back. Um, they they show us, you know, remember when Joy and Clifton, I don't know if you guys have been watching from day one, um, we're only in our third season. And so last season when Joy and Clifton were just friends and introduced to the, um, <laughs> sorry, y'all. Okay. <All> right. <laughs> when they were introduced to the cast, they were friends of, and Joy had a situation where she was about to be on a panel for Mothers and Love. And Ashley, you know, got wind of it and they flashed back the producer show. Like, like I said, shout out to the producers. They show how Ashley was like, wait, but Joy, you're not a mother. And Joy was like, I know, but I'm still going to go sit on the panel. If they, you know, they asked me to go sit on the panel, I'm going to go do what I need to do. And you can tell that Joy was a little uncomfortable because she didn't really know Ashley like that. So for her to be, you know, talking to her like, why are they asking you? So Joy, you know, kept it cute like a cutie pie would. I hope you are following me, Joy and Clifton and the rest of y'all because, you know, not that everybody can get it on my channel because I don't even know what, you know, I know what it means, but that's not a get it. Like, you know, things just have life be life and sometimes I'm on with you and sometimes I'm not. So anyway, Joy kept it cute and just, you know, played it off and was like, I'm just going to go do what I need to do at the, at, on the panel. Clifton clearly was like, you know, they, you know, they wanted her to be on the panel. Sorry, y'all. Really, I like my hair to look a certain way. It's the stylist in me. There we go. So they, so Clifton kind of looked at Joy. You can tell, not Joy, at Ashley, he had a little mm, mm, moment. And so back to my notes and what happened. And like I said, shout out to the producers to going back, showing us this clip. Um, clip. I just wanted to give my viewers who may not be watching, who are watching from overseas, and don't get it twisted because baby, cutie pies is all over the world. Ah, welcome, cutie pies. I just want to give a shout out again. I love y'all. So, anyway, um, she doesn't know if uh it's Ashley doesn't know where it started from. And at, at the beginning, Joy says, Yeah, it was the first night she basically brought Cliff in you were rub Cliff the wrong way. Being a smart ass by saying slow, re I mean, I said slow remarks, but it's smart remarks about Joy going to speak at the mother's panel. And she wasn't a single mom. It was a single mom event and Joy clearly wasn't a single mother. She hasn't had any children yet. Clifton clocked it, Ashley being a mean girl early. Joy tells Ashley, everybody doesn't get the uh, bluntness because your bluntness comes off with a little bit of no love, not a little bit, just no love, right? Um, it's like what she said was a little bit of love removed from it. 
No love, girl. No love involved. Um, they're both trying to figure out how they could uh, navigate through Ashley's disdain for Clifton. Joy is uh, contemplating on how it will look for her to just have relation a relationship with Ashley, but her and uh, but her. I don't know how I put that, but go. How would it go? I'm sorry, I hate when I do long pauses like that, but her and go would be for all the, oh, her goal. Okay, I told y'all I'll be, I'll be talking. So, Joy's goal, she was like, um, how it will look for at her and Joy to have a, Joy and Ashley to move on with their relationship, you know, Joy move on with her relationship with Ashley, but her goal would be for all the couples to get along and be okay as she says ashley says i don't hate you you not my enemy joy interrupts and says to ashley ashley she actually oh okay ashley says she actually likes joy says to ashley i actually like you very much ashley arrogant self says i know <laughs> Huh. Huh. And, and she's like, oh, I know. Joy is well, like, damn, well, damn. She said, well, shit. Or, well, well. And in that moment, I was like, see, that's when you pull back and just be like, you know what? Take it for what it is, girl. Take, see what it is that she's giving you and take that for what it is. And she says, you miss me. No, arrogant Ashley says, you miss me. This is when I feel like Joy should have told her right then and there, like fully yourself, fully, you fully, fully yourself. And I don't know who you think you're talking to. That's what I put in my notes. But instead, Joy suppresses her real feelings um, and goes over and sits on Ashley's lap and tells her that, you know, I really want us to spend more time together and stuff. And Ashley's like, get off my lap. I'm not Santa Claus. And this is fake fakery and foolery in my on my screen. Get out of here. So we head over to Ashley's book signing where Ashley is late. I'm always late. I don't give a damn. It's called fashion when we late. Ashley is excited that everyone is there. Uh, her and Quick are excited that it's a large turnout. Ashley says everyone got a copy of the book. Uh, got a copy of the book. We find out that none of them read the book. So, of course, they all was like, yeah, you know, we waited on a... Uh, no, I don't, need, I don't need no definition for... No. Uh, er, you know, everybody's like, eh, you know, I'm, I'm waiting on an audio version of the book. Stop. <laughs> Ashley was hurt and disappointed, you know, but too bad because I feel like if anybody in your crew, anybody in this group would have wrote a book, you wouldn't have read it either. So she's disappointed. No one read her, her book. She says, uh, that's effed up. She says, I'm done with y'all. They talk about how the book is almost like an emotional roller coaster and that black women need to read the book because sometimes we don't talk about the, uh, about things that we are holding on to Ashley says she's giving herself grace oh yeah because you know first of all grace uh grace many men quicks cold cold um uh, anchor cold radio host is dominique the diva i believe and it you know quick is in the back yeah that's my co-host sit down little man sit down sit down nice dog sit down okay Nobody cares that you're calls. I'm sure everybody that's there know that. That's why I was like, oh, God, are you trying to make this about you, sir? Because it's not. So anyway, she's asking, Dominique is uh, asking questions to Ashley. And that's why I said that um, Ashley says, you know, some, you know, well, I said people be holding on to things. Ashley says um, she's giving herself grace. She is trying to uh what? she's trying to ease up on the low. Oh, I don't know. Women, we 
Oh, I don't know what I was just put, but because as women, we all try to, you know, do everything. That's what she said. She was like, you know, as women, we all try to do everything and we don't ask for help. I don't. <laughs> I don't ask for help. I try not to because I've been a mother for so long. Um, so we do. We take on a big responsibility, um, whether it's a daughter or a son. We take on both roles. Even if the father is in the house, we literally take on both roles. So uh, I think she was trying to say something to many men quick in that moment. I do. Um, as she said, she wanted want women to be able to say, take a break, ask for help and just be able to funk, you know, uh, be able to say no. Um, she talked about functional depression, which hits home for me. Um, it's not functional. I, I'm not gonna, I don't, I've never heard that term before functional depression, but I feel like I've been through functional, de functional depression. Um, from an early age and just kind of just move on real quick. So um, Ashley was happy about talking about her book, uh, but she was very disappointed to look around and not see her mom show up to the event. Ashley wants to go talk to her sister, Tanisha. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I feel like I'm talking low. Ashley wants to go talk to her, uh, her sister, Tanisha, who she calls Pooh and found out that their mom was big mad. Ashley is disappointed because the, this book is really a form of her therapy uh, for Ashley, you know, and it's helping her and others as well. And I agree with that, you know, granted I see the mothers, I understand what a mother feels like, dang, you know, this is how my daughter really feels. Now everybody else is gonna have an opinion. Um, Everybody has a story. I have a story and I, I, I'm, I'm probably going to write a book. But in, in this book, um, I just had, I won't say tumultuous, but I had a, a upbringing that was kind of, you know, it's kind of out there. And so I would love to do my own therapy and write my own book. So um, look for a cutie, a California cutie book. Because <laughs> like I said, I feel like I, I feel actually in this moment, it was therapy for her. And then when people read it, like, you know, later on in this episode, we're going to see how that book can help others. Uh, Ashley said that the book is not a bad, you know, it's not a bash her mom book. She just wanted to, you know, wanted to tell her truth and be honest about her life. And, and, and you know, that's it. Her sister Tanisha uh, Pooh says that says what what are you expecting? You know what are you expecting from this? Uh, because if you're looking for an apology, you're never gonna get it. It's just never gonna happen. And I was like, dang, that's harsh. <laughs> that's harsh. But I know that's their mom, and you know she's like probably setting her mom, you know, setting up Ashley like, please don't be putting this on mom's shoulder because you know how mom is. Uh, they agree they need to get past this and move forward and heal. So Arena is adding a moving on to the next scene. Was in that same scene. Arena is adding a couple of wigs to her wig line. Um, she has a uh, well. First of all, you know she has the Arena Tyler wig line. So one of her wigs is a workout wig with a hat. Hat to the it's to the front, but hat to the back, but the hat to this front. So you have a hat on, and then you have the curly parts sticking out the back, you know. And um, in the confessional, Jamie's sitting right there, and he's like, Where's your which wigs? You know, so I, you want to ask for it. <laughs> she picked the wig up, she picks it up, she puts it on his head, and you know, Jamie being a good sport, you know, they do TikTok and all that good stuff. So he didn't be like, Man, I put that on my hat, he wasn't all. I guess you feeling all emasculated, you know, since that's the big word for the, you know, since like 2022. Emasculate, everybody's emasculating the men, like relax. So she's like, he's my muse. So she put the hat on him and like in good fun, he just sat there and took it. You better set them wigs for your wife, Jamie. Uh, Ashley signed, uh, Ashley signs her book, Lil Jamie, she, you know, signing her book for everybody. Lil Jamie walks up and says, do you got the audio version? 
and actually puts on her smile. And it was like, uh, no, you know, she was like, but she was mad, but she was not mad. You know, because maybe it's Jamie. She was like, no, nah, I don't have it for all you lazies. It's coming. Um, for all you lazy readers, Arena asked Ashley, uh, asked Ashley in front of the group if she is talk as she talked to Joy. As she says, they met up and talked. It went well. We find out that Joy and Clifton are out of town, so they wasn't, you know, going to be at the book signing. That's probably why Arena asked, plus the producers like, twist my bang on her. Uh, can you ask her this? <laughs> uh, as um, Ashley pretty much said it was probably for the better because she didn't want to know drama. Arena wants to know how can they move forward. Ashley says uh, she was very clear until she was very clear to until Joy to tell Joy that uh, she can't be around her husband because he's a sassy, a sassy man. And Minnie Manquick chimed in, of course, um, in you know a couple of times to call Clifton sassy as well. Uh, Minnie Manquick uh, asked Jamie to d demonstrate. Hey, uh, uh, Jamie, what do you, what do you, what did he do? And here comes uh, Jamie. In Ashley's face, you know, he didn't get in her space, but he got close enough. He jumped in front of Arena and he did his little thing. And even Arena said, Oh, yeah, Jamie can do that. Huh? It doesn't bother you. Oh, that's because you know, Jamie, I get it. And I was like, Arena, you better, you better tell him some bullshit. It's some bull, it's some bull in this house. It's some bull in this house. Okay, so <clears throat> anyway, so Jane, like I said. He demonstrated that um, Arena wants to know how can Joy allow Ashley and herself to have a relationship, but her husband is not good to be, you know, going to be able to be around. Um, Ashley says she doesn't know how that's going to work. Arena says because Clifton and many men, uh, many men haven't had a conversation yet, you know, yet, and many men, many men quick says uh he doesn't have to you know i have no desire i have no desire i have no desire i'm using my radio voice i have no desire to have a conversation with dick clifton <laughs> um he said once 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 my wife says something i don't need to have nothing no 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 nothing no, no side talk, no nothing. Clifton about nothing. Irena says it uh is trying to ask is trying to ask for your oh Irena says, you know, maybe you know, maybe later down the line, you know, maybe later down the line, maybe not right now, but maybe, you know, maybe down the line. But I'm good, I'm good, my life is good, I don't need to talk to to him at all so i was like mm. so in the confessional we find out quick didn't know that ashley went to go meet up with joy until she said i met up with joy and we talked about it i don't know what it looks like um that he was surprised and i don't think that it was plus a pleasant surprise because he said once you disrespect his house that was the, the highest form of disrespect but what is between That's not what I said. That's between him and Ashley. If Ashley wants to move forward, you know, he's not going to stop her. So my question for many men is, so if Ashley accepts Clifton's apology, you going to be okay with it? Because that's what it's, it's, it's seeming like. That's just a hypothetical. You we all know that Ashley stick it to her guns, that he leaned over stood over her almost beat her down on the ground with a, a sledgehammer you know uh ashley forgave you know so i said that mm -hmm. sorry my computer is acting up it doesn't want to move my thing arena finally uh said i'm you know i'm aggressively bow wild i'm gonna let y'all figure this thing out yourself thank you arena 
bone collector, can you stop? Just stop. I needed you to stop. Um, that's when Sherelle was like, yeah, you know, I, Sherelle always, to me, feels like she needs a moment. I always feel like Sherelle feels like she needs a moment, right? She's like, ah, oh, Ashley, I'm so proud of you. It's a great event. Shut up. Ashley is uh, Ashley and little Jamie meet up, and I guess Ashley wants to check in with little Jamie because Jamie was suffering from depression and um, had wanted to unalive, you know, had unaliving thoughts before. Ashley feels this is very important because she feels like no one um, was around to help her through her teenage years, you know, and she feels like, you know, talking to little Jamie, she can help, you know, and I, and I commend her on that one. I girl get it. Come on. Um, but she also says that, she, you know, she's happy that Jamie has two parents that are, you know, on the same page to help him go through therapy or even willing to go to therapy for him. So that's, that's, like I said, she was kudos in him, but you know, she also sees since little big Jamie has retired, you know, that they're trying to work their their friendship out. I mean, excuse me, relationship out. But little Jamie shares with her that they only had the one session, but they are in a group text. The therapist, little Jamie and big Jamie, are in a uh, a therapy. Excuse me, not therapy. But they're in a, a group chat together, so that's good to know. Um, we find out that it's been um, ten years that Ashley has been in therapy, but six years ago, she had thought about unaliving herself and that she had to share with her kids, you know, how she felt about um, mental health and that you need to go, therapy is not bad. And in that moment is when I was like, she really spoke to me because, you know, you do have to take care of your mental health. You just like you go to the doctor, go, go get your smears and your, you know, your, your checkups and your, all that. Yeah. You need to go check up on your, your health, your mental health and, and young people really need to, I'm an older person. I definitely need to, because I just, you know, being older, I've had a lot of baggage in my life and I'll just like that. I think Ashley's ministry is, you know, talking to the youth and going to talk to our young people. And yeah, if it starts with little Jamie, I love it. I love it for her. So, um, little Jamie also had a friend that was 25 that unalived himself. And so he talked about the fact that he didn't know anything. Nobody, his family didn't know that he was feeling this way. So yeah, it was, that was, that was pretty crazy. And then he kind of acted like he was starstruck sitting with Ashley. So that was kind of cute. I like that part. So we go uh, <clears throat> back over to the Petties. They meet up over to Sonny's, who is a barbershop owner. And, you know, Clifton is trying to get his beard oil out. Not trying, about to get his beard oil out. And he wants to do his launch at uh, the barbershop. And so his barber, longtime barber, is allowing him to use his space, which I think is fabulous. I think that, that that's a good idea because what other what better way to push your your beard oil than at the barber shop? And so uh, Carmen meets up with them because Joy and uh, Clifton. Go go meet up with Sunny, and it was funny because Sunny called uh, Clifton Cliff, and it, even Joy had to joke and like, I guess you're the only person that called him Cliff, or you know. And I was like, okay, because I never heard nobody call him Cliff, and she's always called him Clifton. <laughs> so I've called always called him Clifton as as well. And they, you know, they just had got back off of their vacation from the vacation they had with the group. So they just had got back off vacation. Um, and so, like I said, they're at the barbershop. Carmen comes in and joins them. You know, she's the PR person for both of them. Um, so they come in here to do the logistics of the beard oil launch. Uh, Carmen asks, who did she, uh, Clifton invite? 
from the, the crew, the clique, you know, the DC crew, the Love and Mesh DC crew. He said he invited Yusha and Winter. And of course, he invited the Tylers, but uh, that's it. And so Karma had to tell him, but you know, business is business. You know, you should have really invite everybody. And basically, Clifton was like, yeah, this is my business. And I'm not mixing my business with my pleasure and my pleasure with my business, especially when my pleasure ain't business. Catch that to you. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but I still agree with Carmen. I I really agree with Carmen. You should have invited them. You should have known there. Just like how you said, he, Clifton said in this moment that, you know, I had the barbershop. I'm not sure if the women going to come. Why? We're not afraid of the barbershop. Women work in the barbershop. I've been in the business uh, for 30 years. I worked in the hair salon with barbers. I've been in a barbershop. I have sons. Don't do that. Don't 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 put us all in a box like that. Um, Joy brings up, you know, since we're talking about celebrations, you know, my 43rd birthday is coming up. And um, that's when she decides to share with Clifton and Carmen that she had to sit down with Joy and tells Clifton, yeah, you know, I invited her to my birthday. You know, I told her it was a little soon. I mean, it might be too soon. So I don't, I'm not saying she's coming or not. Um, and then Carmen was like, you know, well, it's quick coming. And everybody already knows quick never comes to nothing with Ashley because he's too busy. So quick, uh, quick, excuse me. Karma was like, okay, so he probably, Joy's like, I extended it to Ashley. If, Quick is available. He's probably going to come. We know he's not. Um, so in the confessional, we get clipped and saying, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't invite nobody that's not cool with my wife. But if my wife, I mean, to, you know, to no function, I don't care what a function it is. If they're not cool, they're not cool. I said, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. I agree with you, sir. Um, so that, that was the end of that. I was just like, <laughs> I, like I said, I agree with Clifton. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have brought her on. I wouldn't have invited her. I would have let her miss that, you know? Um, so yeah, I, I agree with Clifton. So, uh, the next thing we get Ashley and her mom, Kim, I couldn't think of her mom name to save my life. Y'all, uh, they have like a little spa date. They're getting their, um, like a pedicure, but they're getting toxins taken from their feet. And you guys already know if you ever had toxins uh, relieved, you can go buy that at a, at a drugstore and put the uh, toxins, put your feet in there and it turn the water black. So they haven't spoken in months. Ashley and her mom says, <clears throat> excuse me, Ashley and her mom says that uh, she needs to get their life back on, you know, back back in track on track because she really misses her family. Ashley tells her mom that she basically can tell that she has not read her book because if she did, she would have known, she would know that Ashley is Ashley in the book says she empathized with her mom now, you know, for wanting to run away from her. That's cool. But empathize for wanting to run away from her, you know, now that she's, you know, becoming a teenage, uh, preteen or a teenage mom. Uh, but of course, Ashley mom is in denial and says she never ran away. In this moment, I see so many traits that Ashley gets from her mom. Peep me out. Uh, so Ashley said, okay, you didn't run away. You just wasn't there. You can tell that Ashley support Oh, Ashley's supporters are hitting a nerve with her mom because she quoted one of Ashley's supporters saying she was running behind some D. And I'm not talking about the D in uh in 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 in, in, in Ashley's friend. I'm talking about the D K. Okay. And uh she says the D. And Miss Kim says she didn't have to run behind no D. <laughs> I was like, girl, like, I ain't mad at you. She says, as uh as 
she said in another thing, she didn't appreciate her mom thinking she wrote the book to tell her mom how she, much she hates her because Ashley said that that is not what she wrote the book for. Ashley just want them to be open and honest. Uh, the problem is Ashley mom feels like she is being uh, being honest and Ashley disagrees terribly. Ashley uh, mom says that she's sorry for making bad decisions and she's sorry for hurting her. Ashley mom says she has sincerely Oh my goodness, this my computer is lagging, so I'm sorry to me. She sincerely, she says, um, I said, Ashley's mom says she has sincerely apologized. What more do you want? She said, see, and that's where I say that um, Ashley acts like her mom because I feel like when Ashley and Joy or Ashley and Arena have a disagreement, Ashley does that. She's like, I, you know, I, I said what I need to say. What more do you want? And that's the one of the traits that Ashley doesn't know how to, you know, do what she needs to do with her mom. It's like, oh, I just, I don't know. I, my words are slipping from me right now, but y'all understand what I'm saying? Ashley has picked up the bad trait of saying, I did, I, I did my part. So what more do you want me to do? It's like, I want you to live in it, smell it, taste it, eat it. Smell it and taste it, okay? And then you'll, when you know, it'll marinate and then you'll be like, oh, I got it. And they, nobody has to, we want to bring it up again because you got it. That's all. Um, she said uh, she can't go on like this. The mom said that. Ashley says at this point, she doesn't really want anything else. Deflection. That is not project, projection. That's deflection. At this point, I don't want anything else. Yes, you do. You want your mom to grab you, hold you, and say, "Mom, baby, I am sorry. I am so sorry that I did this. And when you keep telling people, I don't want anything else, just like you just told Joy, I don't, I, I don't feel anything. You do. You do. Live in the most emotions you need to project or give to the people so that you can move on. Come on, Ashley. We grown-ups. Uh, but when she says that, it does seem like there's a re there's a resolve. Okay, I get. I think I said that's with the mom. When the mom uh, says she she can't keep going on like this, I feel like that was a her mom wants a resolve. Uh, actually, mom tried to bottom line that she's not gonna have this conversation anymore because she has apologized profusely and by looking on at the by the look on Ashley's face that's triggering Ashley if that is triggering for you let's stop doing that to other people I know it's a learned behavior I know you've seen your mom do it to you but in this moment this is you how you do the other people in your life you do the exact same thing um she doesn't say anything to her mom about it, suppressing. And when you suppress like that, I feel like you are, that's going to come out another time. Ashley's mom really doesn't, does just want to get past it. She does. She's tired of reliving it. But in order to do that, you need to wrap your arms around your daughter and tell her how much you love her, how much disappoint, how much of a disappointment you were to her, how much a disappointment you were to yourself, how much you don't know how your mom uh, messed you up and that you don't know how to get out of it. And I am more than ready to do therapy. She wants Ashley to take her on a trip. She wants Ashley to take her on a trip and um, she wants to go home. Ashley says she will take her she wants to go, she wants to take her mom because she loves her mom very much. Ashley says she loves her back very, she loves her back, but they have to go do therapy before they go to Jamaica. Ashley is holding her to three sessions, y'all. She wants three sessions before they go to Jamaica, okay? And I was like, I ain't mad at you, Ashley. If you got to do that, do what you need to do to make her 
do what you need her to do uh, as a parent. So yeah, y'all, that was that was episode nine. I got uh, the ending of eight out and I got through episode nine. You guys look forward to episode 10 because I am going to bring it to you guys. Um, and then uh, we go from there. I think we got one episode left from there and then we're going to go into the reunion. I'm excited, y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all again for rocking with me. I love y'all so much, cutie pies. Um, please make sure you guys are hitting the subscribe button, the like button, and all that good stuff. I forgot to hit this banner. Um, I have about five minutes. Let me hit this banner just in case you guys want to cash at me. It is right there for you. That is my cash app. Um, like I told you guys before, Cutie Pies, I am trying to grow my channel. I like really appreciate you guys for rocking with me, giving me a view. If you guys are new here, um, cheers to you guys. Um, I also have another channel. It's called Sunday Brunch with Black Tea. I'm going to put that in the description box and it will be in every description box from here on out because I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> but yes, if you guys want to bless me with a cash app, it's must, must, it's Mucho gracias, okay, uh, for that. But I'm gonna um, get up out of here, y'all. I'm done. I'm done. Um, like the video before you guys get out. I'm gonna hit y'all with my outro as soon as I find it. We'll do another. I liked the things you do to me. I like. It brings out ecstasy. I can't sing, okay? But still, <laughs> it's still what it is. Make sure you like, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell button. Make sure it says all, okay? All. That means you'll get all my content when it pops up, y'all. Thank y'all for rocking with me, cutie pies. And I'll see you guys on the next go round. Peace. Your life, you must be feeling like this your life.